OK, so in this video, we're going to find the stationary points of this cubic and determine their types. Now, what it means to determine their types is to determine whether the stationary points are local maximum, are local maxima or local minima. OK, and we're going to do that in this video using the second derivative. So we start off by finding the first derivative, dy by dx. That will be 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Now we then need to find the stationary points. So stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. And so we want to look at 3x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0. Divide everything by 3 to get x squared minus 4x plus 3. That gives us a quadratic that factorises. So we would have x minus 3, x minus 1. So the stationary points are at x is 3 and x is 1. OK? That's found us the x values of the stationary points. Now, because it's asked for the stationary points, we really should uh, find the whole coordinate, so find the y value as well. So what we need to do is we need to substitute x is 3 and x is 1 into that to find the y coordinate. So y, when x is 3, substituting in, is going to be 3 cubed, uh, take away 6 lots of 3 squared, plus 9 lots of 3, plus 1. So that gets me 1. So I know that 1 of the stationary points is at 3, 1. And y when x equals 1. So we're going to get 1 cubed, take away 6 lots of 1, plus 9 lots of 1, plus 1. And that gets me f that's getting me 5. And so the second stationary point is at 1, 5. OK? Now, I need to determine whether they are maximums or minimums. OK, so in order to do that, I find the second derivative, d2y by dx squared. So differentiate this, and we get 6x minus 12. Now I need to substitute the x values of these into the second derivative. So d2y by dx squared, when x is equal to 3, OK, Substituting that in is 6 times 3 take away 12. OK, so that's 18 take away 12, which is 6. 6 is positive, is greater than 0. So 3, 1 is a minimum, or a local minimum, OK? Because the second derivative is positive. Then we substitute in the second x value, so x is 1, and we get 6 times 1 take away 12, and that actually gets us minus 6, and that's negative. So the coordinate 1, 5 is a maximum. Now you may be asking, um, why, why would we do this when we actually know that that's a cubic, there are two stationary points. The number in front of the x cubed is positive. So you could just sketch the curve and identify that being 1, that being 3. And so clearly, 1 is a maximum and 3 is a minimum. It's because this process will work for any function that you work with. OK? It'll work uh, for whatever. Now, we know that there are problems when d2y by, by dx squared is 0. Okay? We know there are issues there. But because this works in, every, in all general cases, okay, um, it is a powerful bit kit uh, of mathematics that we can use from here on.